Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install VIOS on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is VIOS? So VIOS actually is an open source network operating system. So it has some routing, VPN and firewalling capabilities. Okay. And if you want to know more about it, you can just go to the official website, which is vios.io, okay? And if you scroll down to the bottom, you get some frequently asked questions. So for example, is Vios free and open source software? The answer is yes, okay? What platform does Vios support? So Vios here can be installed on variety of appliances from a hypervisor as we can gonna install it on Proxmox. It can also be installed on VMware or actually on Amazon or Google Cloud or etc. You can just install it on a bare metal if you want, okay? And also what are the minimum hardware requirements for it? So actually, as you can read here, the smallest amount of RAM that VIOS can boot with is 512 megabytes. Okay, so it doesn't require a lot of memory or CPU to run, which is good for our case here. Okay, so in order to install it, we need actually the ISO image. Okay, so for that, you have actually to not that VIOS actually you can get uh, what we call uh, LTS version which is long-term support which is for production but you have to pay some money for it or you can download what we call rolling releases so if I click on this rolling releases you can get what we call also nightly builds so they are actually automatically produced from the current branch but you can use it for uh, testing purposes or your home lab. It can run also. Very good, okay? So if you scroll down, you can get a bunch of rolling releases that you can get. So you can download whatever want you want. And actually, we're gonna download an ISO from this list here. So I would prefer to install the latest one. And after you have downloaded the ISO, you have to upload it to your storage in your Proxmox, okay? So let's switch back to our Proxmox and see if indeed we have uploaded this ISO image to our storage, okay? So this is my Proxmox and normally I already uploaded the image on my storage. So this is my storage here. So the process is pretty simple. All you have to do is to click on this button here, upload and select the ISO image that you have downloaded into your download directory. So pretty simple, pretty easy. And as you can see here, I already uploaded the ISO image, which is actually ruling belt 1.5, as you can see here, okay? and size is actually around 500 megabytes okay so after we have uploaded this image we are ready to put our machine or to create actually our vm okay so let's do that very quickly so i'll create a vm here we go so of course here we have to choose the node where our vm will be installed so by default, it choose the first one, which is in my case, Proxmo 01. And this is the VM ID, it's also important. And the name, so you can give it whatever name you want. So let's just call it VIOS 1.5 in our case, okay? And let's go next. So for the OS, of course, you have to choose the ISO image that we have uploaded to our storage. So hopefully it will appear here and where it is, where it is, this is the one, which is 1.5. Okay, so now we have chosen our ISO image. We go next and here we, I kept the default for the guest OS, doesn't matter. For the system also, I will keep the defaults 
For the task here, Proxmox gives me by default 32 gigabytes, but I guess 3 is more than enough for as a disk space. For the CPU, also I don't need too much. One core, one CPU is more enough. For the type, I always choose the host because it gives me better performances. But you can also give, uh, leave the default if you want. For the memory, as you have read on the requirement, 512 megabytes are enough to boot the machine but also it depends on how many connections are going through your router. So here I will keep two gigabytes. For me, it's good. For the network, this is the most important part. So as it will play the role of a router normally, it will use two network cards. One is the network interface for our LAN and one is the network interface for our one. So actually you have to have two network cards in your Proxmox in order to configure that. But here by default I'll choose the first one which is always installed with Proxmox which is actually attached to this bridge VMPR0. So this is our actually LAN interface and after that I will be adding another bridge which which is here vmpr1 which is attached to network card related to our one interface okay so now i will just keep the one related to our lane interface so i will go next so normally here i have everything in order to boot the machine so if i scroll down you can see that our virtual machine has been created here which is which has vmid of 159 so i'll click on it and now if i go to the hardware tab you can see that i have only one network card but as i told you i need another one which is related to my one so in order to add this network card or bridge actually you have to go to your Proxmox node and go to the network section. So normally here you will be seeing all the network card that you have. So here I have two. So I have EN01 and ENP1S0. So each one will be actually attached to a bridge. So for example, for my first bridge, which is VMPR, zero if i double click on it you can see here on the bridge port it's attached to the first network card okay so this is the first bridge and for the second bridge is attached to the other card network card which is enp1 s0 okay so in order to create a bridge related to your network card it's pretty easy all you have to do is to click on this button here create linux bridge and you can give it whatever name you want you can give it whatever address you want and of course here the most important part is the bridge port so here you have to provide the name for your network card okay so it's pretty easy to create a bridge so as you can see here i have two network cards and each network card is related to a bridge okay so let's move on to our uh, actually vm and other other bridge related to the network other network card that will be related to our one interface so i will click on this uh, vios 1.5 and i will add here another hardware which is the another network card so i will choose network device and of course here i have to choose the other bridge the mpr1 so now I have two network cards, one for the LAN and one for the WAN. So my router is ready to be launched. So I will click on the console and I will start it. And hopefully we get the interface here in order to install. So here we go, we have the VIOS boot menu in order to install it. So I will just hit enter and hopefully the system will be booting but remember this is just live actually 
operating system. Okay, so after it get launched, we'll get some credentials in order to enter and install the system on our disk. Okay, so I will show you how you can do that. Okay, so the system is still booting. And hopefully, after a while, we will get some credentials. So by default, the username is Vios and the password is also Vios. So I will enter these credentials, Vios and Vios. So we are in. So now we can see that indeed we are on the Vios 1.5 rolling release. This is our login, which is actually also our password so we can change that afterwards doesn't matter so as I told you this is just a live operating system but we have to install it in our, in our disk so in order to install it on our disk it's simple as executing the command install image so that's all that you have to do so let's hit enter and you get this welcome message here this command will install VIOS to your permanent storage would you like to continue so I will answer yes would you like to name this image so I will keep the default one here we need a password for the virus so by default it's virus so I will keep the virus so I will retype it here we go now what console should be used by default so I'll just hit enter here to choose the default one for the disk also so remember we have allocated three gigabytes so that's good installation will delete all the data on the drive I will answer yes of course would you like to use all free space yes and hopefully now the system is being installed on the disk so here you have to choose with config file so as always I will just keep the default one which is far more than enough and this is the installation of group configuration files and also the installation on group to the drive so after the installation uh, will be actually finished you have to reboot your system in order to boot into this routing or network operating system which is free and also open source so it's a good resource if you want to learn about routing protocols or networking on routing but here actually you can use it as a free open source router into your home network and remember as I told you it has a lot of firewall and VPN capabilities so you can use it also as a VPN server in order to connect to it from remote systems and also execute some uh, firewalling rules okay so as you can see here the image installed successfully so all I have to do is to, to type now reboot command in order to reboot our system here we go are you sure you want to reboot so I will answer yes and hopefully now we'll be booting into our system which is installed this time on disk and not on the memory okay so now the system is booted in and hopefully we will get once again the prompt in order to get into it so this video will be just show you how to install it on the upcoming video will be seen how to configure it configured interfaces configure the firewall configure the NAT rules or also a lot of things VPN server if you want So let's wait for the prompt. So if my memory is good, I kept the default one which is Vios and also for the password is Vios, okay? Here we go, we get this login. So let's type the credentials, Vios and also Vios. So now I am in. So for the commands, they are similar to the one if you are used to use Juniper. So there is operational mode and config mode. 
So for example, in order to show the interfaces, we execute the command show interfaces. Here we go. And hopefully we have two. So as you can see here, we have Ethernet 0, which is related to our uh, actually LAN interface and Ethernet 1, which is attached to our 1. So in the upcoming video, I'll show you how to configure the IP addresses, the, also the DNS on default gateway and etc. Okay. So that was just a brief video to show you how to install VIOS on Proxmox. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future contents. And of course, if you have any suggestion for future videos, drop them in the comments below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.